here. Yep. <laughs> nope. We are still yep. here. Nope. Yep. Nope. nope. Uh, Where's D40 yeah. when we need him? <laughs> uh, Russ, the homeless guy, Will. Hey, now. And the money guy, Joey Fingers. So. We'll start putting a pile of money in front of me when we start. Yeah, we're, we're going to start putting, like, we put those, like, chocolate gold coins in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> so, last night, um, uh, final battle, Ring, uh, Ring of Rounders pay-per-view. Last pay-per-view of the year for them, I think. Um, well, we saw an ending of an era, I think, in Ring of Honor. That being Young Bucks, Cody. Um, uh, they're pretty much they're pretty much done okay. with them. Um, and now, where does it all go from here? Well, internet rumors and all this stuff, and Cody being up in the owner's box at, ja- at the Jacksonville Jaguars game. Looks like we're, we may be getting uh, in a, a new wrestling organization. Why was nobody in the Buffalo Bills box? <laughs> right. Google's um, got money. <laughs> pretty much the rumors and hearsay that we've been uh, getting over the last so many months have the Young Bucks, uh, Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson, Cody, and the son of Shad Khan, Tony Khan, owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars. Say Khan. Uh, Every time I hear the same thing. <laughs> I know. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Shaka Khan. Oh, we took a trip back to the 80s again. That's twice in a day. Uh, I'm going to puke on both of you. I swear. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Will, <laughs> Will just broke it down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Beatbox um, Willie. <laughs> yeah. oh. uh, when I make myself laugh, that's really bad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> go. Right. Oh, so what's the name of this thing? What's All going on here? Elite Wrestling is what yeah. they're being, is what they're kind of throwing out there. Um, Russ's wet dream <laughs> right now. This is like Indiana real scale. Yeah. Well. Uh, you big time. Big, well, <laughs> slap in the base. Big time. Big time. Well, one thing is for sure. That um, the box and Cody saying goodbye to Ring of Honor hurts Ring of Honor. Um, <laughs> yeah, cause I don't know. We're, we're we're gonna wait and see what happens with that. Um, what do they got left? Lethal, the Jay- Fallen Angel, Christopher Daniels. No, oh, actually oh. no, he actually no. He oh. uh, had he lost his match last night, so he's not with Ring of Honor. As was, was as that of part right of now. the storyline? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. but Ring of Honor is okay because they have them boys. The Peacock jerk offs that were at the thing. <laughs> but, um, you know, yeah, so we'll have to see how this all shakes out for them. Um, but, yeah, um, it looks like Christopher Daniels may be done with them as well. Um, and he's, man, I'll tell you, he's somebody that just keeps going and going into business. He's almost 50. Yeah. For God's yeah. sake. Good Lord. Um, so, uh, looks like that this is all pointing toward. Um, a new, another, a new, how you want to put it? Federation. Federation. So uh, feelings on the possibilities that exist with this. Um, I mean, c- competition's always good. Mm-hmm. You know, competition's always good. My only fear with this stuff is, is are you taking replacement parts and you're taking, mm-hmm. you're basically gutting Ring of Honor. It's well, only three guys, but still, the ru- three reasons why... I was watching. Yeah. Was them. Up until, what, a couple years ago when they made it on the scene, uh, the, the Young Bucks, really nobody cared about Ring of Honor. And, and, and I, before I, before I, I understand that that's where everybody came from. It's where CM Punk came from. It's where Daniel right. Bryan came from. Kevin Owens. Seth, Seth right. Rollins. Every, everybody's. Yeah. Get, Samoa Joe. So, yeah. you know, but you're, at, the, at this stage of the game, Starting a new federation with their most popular guys in the roster, is that going to bury Ring of Honor? That's my where my head is with this. I because uh, nothing's set in stone with this yet. No, so that's why I'm like, no, I'm not, you know. But I think the fact that they pretty much gave a goodbye speech. Yeah, I mean, I think they're done. Yeah, of uh, course. But it's uh, I, I I just think that all arrows are pointing toward it. Yeah. You know, because uh, to give you an idea about this, uh, there have been trademarks filed. Okay. Okay. 
uh, All Elite Wrestling, Tuesday Night Dynamite. They could have come up with a better name, but whatever. Yeah, that, that's, that's that's so WCW, WCW right there. Oh yeah. my god! Leave Thunder out of this. Yeah, but yeah. you know, uh, but uh, but uh, we digress. Um, I hope LaParka comes in. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> the kids in the, in the Parker costume. The that was WCW. That was LaParka. Yeah. Uh, AEW really small. Uh, AEW Double or Nothing and AEW All Out, meaning that that's probably the next All In mm-hmm. um, event. So you're in, you're out. So you, when you're now when you're opening up a business, per se, uh, trademarks are filed. So really, once trademarks are filed, you really can't. I, it's still not the official official thing that they're going to do this, but it's pretty much laying the carpet down. You know, pretty much, um, and uh, and pretty much they'll be based out of Jacksonville, Florida. Now, actually, the Young Bucks are from. Uh, Rancho Cucamonga, California. Say that okay. five times fast. Okay. That's a real place? <laughs> yes, it is. I should have made a left at Albuquerque. <laughs> it is a left from Albuquerque. <laughs> um, and uh, the address given on the trademarks, it, it goes right to TII Bank Field, which is the home of Jacksonville Jaguars. Yeah. So that all kind of encompasses what we've all assumed and that the Young Bucks, Cody, are in, going into business with the Khan family to, to start up a wrestling organization. So, yeah, I, I did, just thinking about with the trademark thing mm-hmm. and what they did with All In, because this is probably where it stemmed from with yeah. the success oh, yeah. of All the In. Uh-huh. They, yeah. they, they, they did they this. Themselves. Yeah. Yep. So, my thing is, because they've been the coolest kids on the block now for about two years. Let's say yeah, a little longer, yeah, yeah, yeah roughly, yeah, roughly. No, no, but really, when I say two, two years ago, I never heard a buck. Okay. What? Who? Yeah. You know, they were, but they've been the, the coolest kids in the block for about two years. Right. Cody, same thing, about Probably. around about two years. Plus, they brought the Bullet so, Club to for kind of mainstream as well. So my thing is, would it have been better for them to stay, kind of stay? In the background? No, not in the background, but like, you know, NWA, Ring of Honor, New Japan, blah, 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 and do a pay-per-view, maybe like a quarterly one, four times a year, an all-in, mm. let's say, all-in, all-out, or whatever they name it, mm-hmm. you know, and it would be cooler that way, you know, or you putting all your eggs into this mm-hmm. and starting a federation, crossing your fingers, hoping it works. Well, I think, but well, I guess to get a better idea you have to understand some of the history of the young bucks and that they ran a backyard wrestling organization when they were kids okay back uh, in their home of uh in Rucha, rancho cucamonga california you just want to say that i i, I do <laughs> <laughs> uh try spelling it <laughs> um and when we talked to them at um at uh, nickel city con they kind of gave a hint toward it a little bit mm-hmm. um uh, the, I think it was Nick Jackson that mentioned like how they uh, had such a great time running their own wrestling organization when they were kids. Yeah, and the, yeah. When they were when they were younger, um, and then Matt Jackson went on and say said something, and then he go then he said a little blurb in there that said, um, "How many five star matches can you have?" Yeah. You know, and I think there's other things going on with Matt Jackson. I think his injuries are starting to catch up with him too but that's a whole nother ball of wax but going from that to them going to all in i i just think that they looked at it and said you know what they've always been about betting on themselves of course you know putting themselves out there will make it work kind of a kind of a thing Mm -hmm. you know we'll evolve as we go along we'll adjust as we go along you know um, and what better way to do it? And because you, and you, you interviewed them, right? Yes. Where, and where can you find that video? That'll be on the Closed Fist YouTube channel. Hey, now. Hey now. Sorry. Go ahead. Yeah. Shameless but plug. But I, I just think that it, it's, you know, them always betting on themselves. And, you know, and, and you look at it, they're done with Ring of Honor right now. Mm-hmm. Um, they're going to go to Wrestle Kingdom uh, for, for, a new, for a new Japan. And I think that'll be their swan song there. So now you look at it and it's like, okay, now you have, and I hate to put it like this, but the WWE marks out there are going to be clamoring from the, for them to sign with Vince. 
Which is not going to happen if they got this thing going on. Right, but that's what I'm saying, though. But there's and, a lot of guys who are going to be in limbo who don't have contracts and they got yeah. nowhere to go. Yep. Right. Yeah. So it's like, okay, so now if you're, if you're in their position, forget that they file trademarks here for a second. Forget about AEW. Knowing, forget that they that AEW even exists at this point. If you are them, would you continue on w w with what you're doing, or would you st or would you sign with Vince? From the sounds of it, I mean, they like doing their own thing, so yeah, you know, stay that route. Yeah, yeah. D didn't didn't they try out for WWE years ago and yep. didn't get signed? Yeah, well, uh, I think I Matt Omega, Jackson had a, a developmental had a, deal. Had a, had a match. Yeah, and uh, and uh, I guess that he was he jobbed. Uh, to, I can't remember who who it was, yeah. but um, apparently there's stories going around. He was not treated well. So they're probably like, screw, so, screw that guy. So screw it's like yeah. So it's like yeah. I mean, now granted, things have changed. Yeah. There a lot, you know, from 12, from 12 years ago. Bill Demott has been one of the people that's been brought up, as far as like uh, in, as far as Kenny Omega goes. Hugh Morris. Yeah, Hugh. <laughs> The first ever victory for Bill Goldberg, by the way. Yeah. That started the streak. Um, sidebar. Um, but it's like, you know, he hasn't been with the company for years. But it's like you still have that stigma that just doesn't go away. Right. You know, it's like the, the faces may it was change. It a bad taste in your mouth. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, it, it's like you're saying the faces may change, but, yeah, yeah. you know, that still remains the same or something like that. JBL. Yeah. <laughs> Oh Lord, anyway. but um, but now but but now all in happens, and they're like, you know what, we bet on ourselves up to this point in our lives. Why would we give that away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I can't take anything away. It all from, comes down to how hard they want to work. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're 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 hustlers. That's what I'm saying, but the it, definition yeah. of a hustler is what those two do. Oh yeah, yeah. I think I think they spurred. I'm not Cody, and I'm not saying they were the, the reason, but maybe the catalyst of it. Like when he's like, man, he's seeing what they're doing, selling their T-shirts, yep. doing their thing, moving from here to here. My dad was in the territories. My dad, did, you know what I mean? Yep. He, my, my dad did it. Yeah. My dad did it. Why can't I? Yeah. Yep, you know, yeah. look at the tattoo he got. You know, it's yeah. a dream on there. You yeah. know what I mean? Like it just, it, it all seems like the, all those guys are hustlers, and yeah. they're gonna they're gonna figure out a way, like Russ said, to make it work. <laughs> yeah. You know, and uh, now now the key part of this is getting a TV deal. Now at this point, Access TV, which has uh, New Japan on there Friday nights, um, they have denied that they that that's where AEW is gonna go. TV deals can be worked out in the course of time. Yeah. So it. People deny stuff now, yeah. and then all of a sudden, oh, it happened. Shopping uh, around, there's a million TV stations. Yeah, out there. so it's like okay, but um, uh, but I think the time frame is what we're is, is what we're looking at. When could this possibly go live? Now, one of the trademarks filed Tuesday night, Di Dynamite. We got to work on that. Uh, <clears throat> but you know, right now, SmackDown's on Tuesday nights, so you don't want to. You're not going to start it right now. Well, the, the, I mean, we discussed that. I mean, yeah, too. it's moving to Thursday or Friday, Friday excuse night. me, so, when it goes to Fox. I know before we said this, I was saying swing for the fences, go after the money crowd. But why not swing for the fences and go after the B show, the SmackDown show? Well, now, it all depends on what kind of roster they come up with. Because right. there is there is a rumored, rumored roster. roster could blow away the SmackDown roster. Yeah, I mean, there, there is a, a rumored roster out there. Um, but I think one name. The Blue um, Meanie. Kenny Omega is, is a really inter interesting name listed here. AJ Styles is also on the list too, but he's, AJ, he's not AJ's going not anywhere. anywhere. He's got a he, He's not going anywhere. He's um, the, he's finished he's his career. Retire, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, he but wants Kenny, the Hall of Fame. He wants all that. Kenny Omega is an interesting name because he is. Uh, let's face it. He's an international super superstar. He loves Japan. He loves Japan. He really he does. Really loves Japan. Now, if he does sign, because I have a feeling. This is just a feeling on my point. I hate when you get feelings. Kenny Omega is going to the WWE. That is just my personal opinion. Whether that really happens or not, I don't know. But I just, that that's just a feeling. Just because he goes there doesn't mean he's going to stay there forever. He no. Could do, he could do his run, get his title, and bounce. 
He could. He you could. Know? I mean, he's the thing about him is is that he's in his mid mid thirties now, but he's had some injuries. He's been working with injuries, and he's a smaller type of wrestler. Um, so the injuries start piling up, and he wrestles such a physical style. Such a he does a lot. Of, he does a fair amount of high spots. Um, but it's, you know, it, it takes a toll on you. Well, plus, too, you're traveling back and forth to Japan and, and all over the country. He lives there. Well, he lives there, uh, yeah. Well, but, but he's still traveling here for other matches. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. it takes a toll on you, too. You, when, you interv- when you interviewed him with the uh, Young Bucks and Cody, he was a little out of it. And that could be, well, that could be, you know, a little bit of a, uh, what's it called again? Well, I asked him. Jet lag, yeah. Well, I asked him about, you know, like, um, how does the travel affect you? And he had a pretty good answer with that one, actually. He had an answer about like, uh, like it's take it does take its toll. Yeah, you know it yeah. does. I mean, it yeah, does. It's Tuesday in Japan, it's Thursday here. You know, you know whatever the time the time, time is, right? But it's but it's like you know what he 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 takes his bumps, yeah. you know, and then he it flies so many hours back to Japan. It's going to take a toll on you. Yeah. Um. So whether he goes to 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 all elite wrestling, we will have to see. Really, the whole roster, other than Cody. In the Bucks is a wait and see, uh, but um, if they can put the majority of those names together, yeah, it's, uh, they could take a shot at the champ, you know. But I still would just go with eh. wait until SmackDown moves over to Friday nights. I think it needs then to put, s- nah. then put it out there. Got to fire some shots. Got to eh. fire some shots. I think you fire get some steam behind yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 maybe not, maybe I, not Raw, but I'd go after SmackDown. I can, I can agree, I can agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, do you, what did I say? You, do you want to sustain, or do you, you know, or yeah, but, but you, you otherwise, can have a hot run. But otherwise, you're turning into Ring of Honor. Well, that's what I said. This thing is going to be. I said this. I, 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 said I this. would want to go as I forget that. I want to go in as WCW against. WWE. Yeah, but then they got to get names. They got to get yeah, big that, names. That list is they not have, bad. We have, I mean, I mean, some of the names that we're Slip, that, that yes. we we're looking and that's at. That's not even anybody yeah. that's rumored from WWE that's going to leave. You know, I mean, some of the names that we've heard. Okay, Cody and the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, Hangman Page, Marty Skrull, Kota I- Ibushi, um, who's best friends with Kenny Omega, and whatnot. Uh, Christopher Daniels, who's now technically not with Ring of Honor anymore. Frankie uh, Kazarian, um, Pac, who, who is formerly Neville, uh, Pentagon Jr., his brother Phoenix, Bandito, and Will Ospreay. Um, so that's a pretty that's good... That's your, your dynamite all-star roster? Right the there. first half of it's not bad, but I'm saying that's not that, including that, anybody. That's, that's so what that's you're not throwing at me here. But that's with not this? including anybody that now, could possibly oh. be coming from the WWE. Now that's now now. How many people the w- we've, we've talked about this. How many guys are getting pushed to the back at WWE? Yep. Oh, I, I'm I'm not denying that. But you they pull a start, couple. But you pull a couple names from WWE and start that with those guys. You, you, you could take a shot. You find you find me contracts here yeah. that state who's oh. leaving, who's done. Oh, I'm, not, well, I'm not saying either way. I'm, but I am, they could. They, they, okay, these guys need to make a paycheck now. Okay, they need to start this thing sooner rather than later. Yes, it might not start right away, but it needs to start sooner rather than later. Well, actually, I well I. I kind mean, of, there's kind of more to it than just yes. filing name yeah. or filing yeah. right. uh, trademarks. trademarks. We're, we're, we're you got to get rings. Right. You got to get places. You got to. I mean, right. there's a lot to it. It's, uh, it's you're looking at probably time. at least another year, at least. I'm thinking November. I'm th- at least I, a year. I, I'm thinking. At least a year. I'm thinking November because I think they want to wait for SmackDown to make its move. That way, it opens up a night, um, a, a Tuesday night, and then from there, um, now you brought up contracts. Uh, rumor contracts to be ending in January. We AJ Styles and he is not going anywhere. But Shinsuke Nakamura, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson. You know, those are some decent names you could just put out there. And there's other names that I'm yeah. sure that are ready to leave. Yeah. So it's I, th- frustration I think and, and I think about it. I think everybody has at least an eyeball. Oh yeah. On what's going on here. Again, the time frame of when this is all going to happen. I don't think personal opinion. Been saying it a lot. I know. Um, is probably late 2019. That way, everything is laid out. Mm-hmm. Because when you when you're making an adventure like this, oh yeah, you like you were saying, it's a lot you, more you than trade insurances. You need to get. Yep. I mean, there's so much shit that you need to do before and you're even 
even thinking about and we're not work. and how do and how do we know that they haven't been doing this work this due diligence a lot of it you can't do until you have those right so, true true but they probably have done things like lined up but lined up right exactly but so still, it's going to take but it's going to take some time it's going to take some time i'm thinking november ish or late october when smackdown makes this move they can go to 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 Tuesday nights with whichever network that are they, they end up on. Are they going to be a traveling organization? Are they going to be more well, like I think probably impact in, where they're in a sp one spot? Initially, you know. they're probably going to be like NXT, actually, and just be in one spot for a while, get the, get their feet underneath them, and then at some point in 2020, then maybe they'll start traveling and doing shows. And maybe have working agreements with, like, Ring of Honor, NWA, MLW, and, and, and that. So they... I mean, that's probably how it's going to wind up. So if they're going to have working agreements like so that, they they, to them? Th 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 it's basically doing, you're becoming the Another small guy's competition. Yeah. You're, well, you're, you're uh, becoming, well, again, no, this is initially. No, you're becoming a small guy's partner. Not even competition at that point if they're all working but together. Here's the, but I, well, I mean, that's just, yeah, uh, yeah. that's just an idea of what they could do. But what I'm saying is mm -hmm. Ring of Honor's, the crowd's there. Are, you, Dan Murphy even said it last mm -hmm, time we were here. Mm -hmm. The crowds are not the best. You know what I mean? There's not yeah. a ton of people at these things. So you're you're taking from your friends, your business partners, let's say, if that is a fact, if they become partners, they might. whatever. They, they whatever, might. Whatever. They might. You're taking from that, and then, you know what I mean? You're taking the money out of, so if all elite wrestling goes on the road, and then, so Ring of Honor does Global Wars in Buffalo, and then a month later, all elite does, just is everybody gonna have, does everybody have the ex the expendable money to do to to go right. to all these shows? You know, something's got to give. That's true. Well, I'm just saying though that that that's what they could do, whether they do oh, that okay. or not. I, I, maybe I no, mis what misunderstood. No, what they what they could do. Uh, you know, to, again, you're a startup. Right. You're not sure who you're gonna have. I mean, you know, you're. I say they drive a bus. tank right in front of WWE. It's what they. It's what and I'm fire saying. those shots. That's what I'm saying. Well, they did that already. But, I know. I'm, but I'm just saying. Nostalgia. As no, a no, startup, no, Bucks and Cody did. Yeah. 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 But uh, but as a startup, that's that might be something that they do. You know, just to get things going. Swing and, for the fences. And, and, and until they establish a roster. Swing for the fences. When it comes time, so. I, I know. I'm kind of. When excited you're in prison, you go to the biggest dog in the yard and you take him out. That's what you do. <laughs> hit him, uh, <laughs> pull out Nancy Kerrigan and just hit somebody with it in the knee. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Um, so hey, I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of I'm kind of excited to yeah, see I can where this is going to go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just keep thinking I just keep thinking about Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows is like the bet the best free agents we could think of. I, well, again, I, mean, I can't wrap my head around. It's like Bastion Booger and Carl Anderson. This is like you know, Bastion Booger. But, uh, but but you know, okay, Horace Hogan. Sorry, there are it's, it's there are. Like. <laughs> well, <laughs> kidding me? They're out of here with this crap. Uh, I'm kidding. I'm Horace kidding. Hogan had a way bigger head. I'm, I'm just like, uh, unless they, unless they get somebody like a like a make a big splash. Like let's say. Maybe you're never gonna get Roman Reigns. You're never gonna get him. But like uh, Dean Ambrose, let's say, unless you get somebody from WWE. I'm sure there's gonna be a, who's by, gonna the, be by big the time. time they're, by the time they're a, ready. Yeah. There's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna jump. Well, hey, yeah. you know what? I mean, I, 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 I mean, that's what I'm more curious about. Who jumps? Right. That's what I'm curious about because all the people no, we said I, yeah. is gonna. You, I, I just I told this said this to Russ before we started the show. I feel like it's Ring of Honor light. Right now, oh, well, that's well, why because why you go involved. after somebody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's involved. why you go after somebody and do the things that they've done in the past. You, you're holding the title. You throw it in the garbage the next night on the other show. Something like that to fire right, shots. Nostalgia. I'm just saying, you it's, fire it's shots. Too nostalgia in the past five minutes. I'm nostalgia out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding, Joey. Oh. I'm sick of your nostalgia face. 